Today I'm going to show you how to make my air fryer shrimp vermicelli noodle. It is so easy, it is so delicious and I cannot believe you can actually make this in an air fryer. I got a new Philips air fryer recently and I cannot wait to share with you all the recipes I've been trying. It is so exciting. Let's get into this. I'll be using some pepper flakes. I'll also be using some blended ginger and garlic paste, some curry powder to give it that flavor. I have spring onions, some red bell pepper cut in thin strips, also some green bell peppers and some vegetable oil, just a little. We have some king prawns that we use for this recipe and then we also have our vermicelli noodles. We also have some light soy sauce if you want you can use dark soy sauce as well we have some sesame oil because of that aroma and flavor and then we have some oyster sauce let's get cooking to prep add the soy sauce in the tiger prawns add some pepper flakes add the garlic ginger mixture and just combine Next, add some vegetable oil and then set aside. Next, add some boiling water to the vermicelli noodles. They don't need to cook on a cooker, so once you leave it in the hot water, it is going to get soaked and cooked. That's all you need to do. So just move it around a little bit and then leave it to soak for about five to seven minutes. While the vermicelli rice sticks are soaking, I'm going to put the shrimp in the air fryer. This air fryer is so amazing, you do not need to preheat, you just need to put whatever you're putting in and then you start cooking. So I put the prawns in and I'm going to set the timer for about 5 or 4 minutes. That's just to see how fast it will cook and so that I can add the other ingredients. You can adjust the temperature to your liking even though there are other preset menus there. The shrimps are almost cooked so now is the time for me to pour in my peppers and the rest of the ingredients so that they cook together. I'm tossing everything together because the shrimp has some of that oil so it is going to rub off on the vegetables and they're just going to grill together in the air fryer. The vermicelli rice sticks are done and now I'm just going to strain them in a mesh so that all of that liquid leaves and then we'll season it in a bit. To season, I'm using a combination of light soy sauce some of the sesame oil and also some of the oyster sauce if you have dark soy sauce you can use that as well now just toss it together so that all the ingredients go around and then we will transfer to the air fryer i can't believe i actually made this with just an air fryer it's amazing peppers and the shrimps are cooked now as you can see and they look so lovely it smells amazing you guys and i don't have to use like half of the oil that i would typically use in a stir fry so now i'm just going to add the vermicelli the rice sticks and then combine everything and then just allow it to cook for a few more minutes or seconds so that everything heats up together and then we're good this is what it looks like. It was yummy, it was delicious, and it was made in an air fryer. 
<laughs> i hope you try this recipe if you do let me know in the comment section if you do not have a phillips air fryer you need to get your hands on one now because there's so much you can do with it thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye